Hello, my friends. Michael Cole. Welcome to Innovating the Social Digital Guest Experience. This is all about the Social Digital Planner Overview. And I got to tell you, I'm just so excited about something that we spent the last two and a half, three years just incubating and talking to literally 130 interviewers of some of the best service providers in the Summit Salon community. And we are absolutely convinced that this is going to take you to a level of income that up to now you just never dreamed possible. So let's get at it. Now, up until today, this was our planner, our beloved traditional summit planner. It served us very, very well, and it was very exclusive, meaning that if you were a hair designer, we had one for hair, we had one for nail artists, we had one for estheticians, we had one for massage therapists. But today, one of many reasons why I absolutely love the social digital planner is it's inclusive, which means regardless who you are, whether you're a, a designer, a nail artist, an esthetician, a massage therapist, one size fits all. And when you use it, you'll see that. That's what's one of the most absolutely amazing things I love about this particular product. Let the tour begin. <laughs> now, there's really two basic elements in the social digital planner. We have the day planner and we have the tracking section. But what I absolutely love about the social digital planner is we've made room for the Summit Digital Tracker. We now are going to be teaching you how to use your mobile device in connection with your, your cloud-based tracker. So those of you that have tracking hatred, we can take you out of that so that you can do one-time entry and it tracks you for the day, the week, the month, the year. It's got pie charts. It's got graphs. It's got everything. You can see I'm just totally stoked about this particular product. So let's take the planner under the microscope and just dial it up a notch. As you can see, we've kind of given you a little bit of a, of a blueprint here. And oh, by the way, in the front end of the planner, in your instructions, you, you're going to see that the instructions are paired up to this tutorial. So for those of you that are remedial learners, go ahead and take a peek at this as well. Now, over here, we've got, you can see, we've got it broken down into six parts for this tutorial. We have our, our uh, tracking bar or our goal setting bar, if you will. And you can see we have core service, we have high-end service, and we have additional service. And again, in your instructional, uh, in the front end of your planner, this will define it for your field. Over here, though, I've got, we've got what we call our magic day goal. And as I give you examples of each of these later on in our, this particular tutorial, I really love this one. I can hardly wait to talk about that one. And then in number two, just like in the traditional planner, is a, a column, what we call our pre-plan column, where we put our guests down and what they are uh, scheduled to receive. And as you can see, in number three, we have our classic. We had that in the traditional, a place for checking off your ebooks. But what I'm really excited is about uh, uh, number four here, our AOO and our SMO, the difference between additional uh, add-on opportunities and social media opportunities. Again, I'll give you some examples of that in just a moment. And then in the uh, second column here, both four and five, both the uh, service and retail uh, intentions that we want to list about how do we add on, but we've made a place for all of your social media activities that you're going to engage in uh, with any open uh, window of opportunity today, tomorrow, this week, etc. And then, as we always have, we have our post uh, planning column, our actual totals, so that we can always, always, always compare your day end numbers to your uh, beginning day numbers and comparing that to hitting your magic day goal. Oh, I just love this resource. 
continuing with the tour of the day planner. It takes us down to the bottom of the form. As always, we have our tracking bar down here, our day tracking bar. And as you can see, we have in number seven is the all of the dollars that you have coming in that you've started the day with. We have a place for you to put those dollars. And then, and then, and then, <laughs> we've got uh, a, uh, a box for you to put your add-on opportunity and the social media opportunities that you took advantage of to really make the day bigger than it would have made. And then you add up the total amount of your day so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what your total service dollars are. Moving on then, we have a place for your guest count and the type of guests that you served. We've got your total new guests. We've got your total referral guests as well as your total repeat guests. And then we have in box number 10, the number of guests that you were able to rebook or reserve the appointment for the next time they come in and then a total number guest count and this again some of this is going to be data that you're going to be implementing into your tracking app and then of course moving into uh, number 12 13 and 14 we have a, a place for your total course service count for those of you that are continuing to count each service that you do in addition to that we have your total high-end service count your total additional service service count and then of course when you add them all up the total number of services that you rendered for the day and then last but certainly not least we have a uh, in box 17 and 18 some of you uh, really look at your uh, retail in terms of number of units and then some of you uh, in addition to that also uh, track the uh, amount of retail that you're able to sell each day. And now for my favorite part of the tour, the magic number. You know, anywhere I go in the community, whenever I see a service provider, I'll say, show me your magic number. And they know exactly what I mean by that. So we've made a place for it inside of our planner. We're calling it your magic day goal. Let me tell you what it's all about because it will revolutionize your life. What we mean by magic number is is getting real clear about the income you need to generate to either pay for the lifestyle that you're currently having that you maintain, or better yet, getting the lifestyle that you want. How to improve the lifestyle. We've, we've got a way now for you to calculate that so that you're real clear about it. And then that number becomes your day goal so that you can begin planning to hit and crush that goal. The number of service providers that we see doing that are transforming their financial life. Now, the other point I want to make in this particular tutorial is that there's basically two ways of getting that number. The traditional way is you've got some really awesome coaches that'll sit down with you and actually show you how to figure that out so that you're real clear. But now we have something on summitsalon.com that we're calling Summit Calcs. Let me show you what that is now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to grab your mobile, and I'm going to take you to summitsalon.com. So get on your browser. I'm getting on mine. I'm going to go there now so that you are right on their homepage. All right, raise your hands if you're there. Great, i got about 10 million of you <laughs> raising your hands. So it's real simple. That's what The essence of genius is simplicity. Just scroll. You're just going to scroll on your mobile to get to the bottom page. It says Mobile Celts. Now you're in the game. It's as simple as I'm going to touch the page. As I touch the page, it's going to bring me to Welcome to the Summit Salon Kel Club. It's a brand new club that we're creating. You're going to want to join that club. You will be on the inside of the inside circle. We're going to be continuously feeding you the latest, greatest content, content to keep you in the game. Now, and it's simple. You just put in your first name. Uh, enter your email so that we know where to send you a notification and then who's who in the crew. You're either a salon owner, a manager, a service provider, or other. And then click, uh, if you're not already receiving our, uh, uh, our emails, just hit click, click yes and you're in the game. Touch it, kaboom, we're ready to go. All right, we're now on the mobile calculator page. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to turn this page 
into an app so you never again have to go you know, on your browser, finding the website, clicking your way through the website, scrolling the page. You're right there. This is so simple, and yet it's so brilliant. This is going to take you to make you a mobile Jedi, so listen up. If you, if you play with this page, you can see at the very, very bottom, there's a little blue square with an arrow on it. Touch it. You'll get a pop-up. There's two rows. Disregard message and email and, and add to notes. Look at the very bottom. It says copy, print, save to draw. I'm going to keep scrolling. And what you're looking for is add to home screen. You get one more pop-up at the very corner of your mobile device. It says add. Watch and see what happens. Kaboom. All of a sudden, you've got, a calcula- you've got an app that says Summit Kelk Club. It's right there. From now on, you just touch the app. You're in the game. That's called Brilliant. That's your first step. Let's go to the next. Okay, we're back on Kelk Club Magic Day Kelk page. Go there now. If you scroll up, number of calculators. We're going to give you a tutorial on each one. Today, the tutorial is on the first calc. It's called Magic Day Calc because we're looking for our magic day. You're going to love how easy this is. I'm just going to hit that bar. The calculator comes up. Scroll up, and you're going to see a form. It's as simple as filling in those line items that pertain to your, we call it the personal side of your money life. So if you have a house payment or you're paying rent, go ahead and plug in that number so that uh, that is on your radar. You can just see, I'm keying in numbers just so that you can see how the calc works. I continue to scroll. Cable internet is a big one. I'm going to plug in my monthly payment for that. I'm going to continue to scroll. Some of these I'm skipping. My cell phone, that's a very important part of my life. I'm going to put that in as well. My car payment, I've got my car payment down there. Now, again, I don't want you, you know, scrutinizing the numbers. I'm demonstrating this for the tutorial's sake. Uh, I've got my car insurance in there. That's very, very important to be responsible. My monthly gas, petrol for my car, I'm plugging that in. Now, if you guys don't know exactly what this is, go ahead and guesstimate the first couple of months because you can do this until you really get it fine-tuned. My monthly grocery uh, expense, what is that running me a month? Uh, I'm eating out. I want to get conscious of what I spend on a daily basis when I go out to eat. I'm going to plug that number in as well. My clothing uh, on a monthly basis, my, I'm buying this, this much in clothing in my uh, expense. I want to become aware of that as well. My credit card payments, I have three or four payments I, I make a month at Add that up. I'm plugging in uh, that as well. Uh, my loans, and maybe I've got a student loan in there somewhere. I'm going to plug that in. So you can see it's a wonderful little form and format where you get clear as to just exactly how much money does it cost me to fund my life? What's my cost of living? Now, this is what I absolutely love about this calculator. As you scroll up, it automatically adds up your total bills, expenses for the month, and, and wait, there's more. It takes your, uh, and it, this line that says magic month service goal, it automatically calculates it so that you now know what do I need to take in in service dollars in any given month to be able to uh, end up once my commissions are paid and the taxes are out or whatever that is, that I know approximately this is what I'm going to be uh, uh, taking home with me. I need in this example, what does it say there? It says $5,700 and it breaks it down for the week. It means I need to take in $1,326 a week. Now, don't concern yourself with the math formula. If you start playing with this, you're going to see that it's not perfect, but we get you very, very close. It's an approximation so that in this particular example, if it costs you approximately $2,850 a month, you need to clear that much money to pay for your life. We know that it's going to take approximately $5,700 a month in your service goal. And, and wait, there's more. It automatically breaks it down to what you're going to need a week uh, in service as well, $1,300. 
$26. Now it's just a matter of how many days a week do I work? Watch this, you guys. It's so cool. And now it broke it down into your magic day. I now have a magic day number of $332 for my service goal. And it's just as a little gift with purchase, we've plugged what you would need to do in daily retail to hit a 20% uh, RTS. It's brilliant how that works. So you go ahead, start playing with it now, and we'll pick up where we left off in the next take. All right, I have us back to the Calc Club page with all the rest of our Calcs. I want to give you a real quick tutorial on the second calculator that is a Magic Day Express Calc. Let me tell you why that calculator is going to come in as you begin to uh, become more mindful and empowered. When you're using that first Magic Day Calc, at first it's going to help you to get real clear on how much money you need to do on a daily basis to make your, make your monthly expenses. But sooner or later, you're going to start crushing that day goal and you're going to have more than enough money and then you're going to have the aha and the aha is aha I basically can make as much money as I want and now you're going to want to start dialing up to improve your life that's where the magic day calculator comes in so I'm going to hit that it's going to bring us to the magic day express calculator it's a cut to the chase calc if you hit the first box and i believe on the first box what did we have we had uh, 2850 let's go and just bring that in there now so that you really understand where i'm coming from you had your it broke it down we put four days a week i believe that your number was 332 dollars a day for your magic day with a uh, what is it a 66 dollar retail goal but now i want to increase my my life and bring it to three $3,000 a month. I want a $3,000 a month livelihood. So all I can do now is all I got to do is I'm going to change that to $3,000 and I am in the game. Look what happened. All of a sudden now, I've got a new monthly goal. I got a new weekly goal. I have my four days in there. Kaboom, $349. That's where, that is my new magic day. When I hit that, all of a sudden, my life just got $250 a month uh, less difficult, better than it was before. Do you see what this can do? When you have the OMG, aha, I can, I can make as much money as I can and, uh, and that I want, and I'm using my calculators, my digital calculators to do this. So uh, if you want to watch this again until you get skillful, because when you get skillful at this, you revolutionize your life. So once either your coach, the calculator, or both, you figured out your magic number, we have a space now on your digital planner called Magic Day Goals. That, that service dollar number goes right there. And of course, that retail number that's always set in a way that you're going to hit your retail goal goes right under that. Continuing with our tour, the first column on your planner, I call it the pre-planning column. We're going to take a peek at who's coming in for the day, the schedules they're down for, the, the current reserve dollars for each service, and then we're going to take all of those numbers, we're going to add them up down at the bottom of that column. As you can see, we've got something called current reserve dollars for the day. So we know what's on the book before you start your day. And then we're going to take that number and we're going to compare it to your magic day goal number to see how far away you are from crushing your goal. So this next feature in the planner is one of our newer features, and it's a, it's a feature that I can really get excited about because it's called Two Ways to Plan on either what we're calling AOO, a new acronym, or SMO. AOO stands for add-on opportunities, and SMO are social media opportunities. Now, in the traditional planner, we know what add-on opportunities are. They are guests that we already have on the book, and, the, and we're getting clear about the offerings that we want to make to them. And those offerings can either be services that they're not currently down for, or retail that we want to uh, offer them as well. 
Now, this next feature is our latest and greatest, and I'm convinced that it's this feature that can revolutionize your clientele and your income. We call it Social Media Opportunities, SMO, and we have a handful of actions that we want to teach you to take advantage of that opportunity. The first action we're calling Identifying Those Guests That Are Candidates for a photo shoot. And we're doing that, number one, by looking at this first column and zeroing in on those high ticket guests. So you can see here, we've got two or three guests on your book. We've got a, uh, a your nine o'clock is down for a haircut, a highlight. Your, your 11 o'clock is down for a haircut only. Your 12 o'clock is down for a haircut and a color. So we're looking at that and we're going, wait a minute. We've got a couple of high tickets there. Those, those guests are candidates for a photo shoot. And then number two, we want to, um, you know, like mark down here that, th that we're checking out these guests under SMO. This is where opportunity. So we can look at where these check marks are and know we're going to zero in on social media. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if those guests that we've marked out have a presence on social media. Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? We want to go to find them. And if they are, we want to check out how many of their friends and family are following them. Why? Because those followers are referral candidates. And when we go there, anytime we can find that those people that we're looking out for on Instagram and Facebook have more than 200 followers, they are a page holder that go beyond average. 200 is the average. So if you're going on their pages and you're seeing 300, 400, 500 or more followers, don't look now, but that particular guest is a, a potential guest influencer. And so we're going to mark down that we want them for that photo shoot. They have the presence, they have the high ticket, and those are the guests that we want to go for. Let me show you some other actions you can take in your social media opportunities to take advantage of the potential of the power of those actions. So in the second one, we're talking about using empty windows of time to select photos of pictures that you've taken of a previous guest. You're going to be creating some of the captions that you want to put inside of those photos and to post the, both to fill future empty windows of time, whether it's today, tomorrow, this week, next week, this month, etc. The second thing you're going to do here is you're going to use empty windows of time to learn how to move from being, maybe you're a beginner at social media and my goal is I want to move into being an intermediate. Or maybe I'm intermediate, I want to move into advanced. Or I'm in advanced, I want to take my game up so I'm a social media master. Or you could use empty windows of time to begin creating your own how-to video tutorials that your guests are going to watch as they're processing that promote uh, other services or products that you want to make guests mindful of. Or you can have somebody uh, take pictures of you uh, doing things like working with your guests, standing in front of a product display, or preparing to do a service so that you're going to use that as B-roll video to continue to promote your yourself as well. Or you can go through empty windows of time today, tomorrow, this week, and begin filling with caption posts. So just letting your guests know, here are some availabilities that you have on the book, and then continue to look ahead for those openings so you can make your day goal before your day actually comes. One of the other things that you can use your empty windows of time to do is to schedule going into your existing Instagram pages, your Facebook pages, and doing a physical count to find out exactly how many guests that are you servicing now that are part of your follower base so that you can determine uh, what percentage of your total followers are your guests so you can start setting some goals with regard to how many more guests you want to get to follow you so that you've got enough guests on your page so that when you post, you can fill more windows of time. What I love about the new design formed in the Social Digital Planner is that at day's end, now we can see where our day began, 
how we were able to add to our day, whether it was through add-on opportunities or social media opportunities, see what our day actually ended at and compare it to what our magic day goal was. So as you can see by our example, we started our day, it was $235. Our goal was $291. By the time we began taking advantage of all of the opportunities throughout that day, be they additional uh, service opportunities or social media opportunities, we ended up with a day ending of $301. We were able to crush the goal. Now that's going to start happening to you as you get more and more skillful. And if you do crush the goal, we always encourage you, don't lower your goal for tomorrow. Keep that goal the same and use that crush as, as a, a cushion so that if you fall a little bit short tomorrow, you're going to be okay. Same with if we if we miss the goal, if let's say that number was uh, 275 day end, let's go ahead and just add that to this number so that tomorrow, who knows, maybe that's your longer day. Maybe you've got a couple of more higher tickets in your book. Maybe you hit the, hit the zone and you start talking in tongues. Whatever it is, we're always planning for a bigger day. Those who plan for bigger days have more of those bigger days than, know that, than those that rely on luck. Last stop in the tour, day end with tracking. And for those of you that are still using the manual track or you, have, you just love to track, go ahead and use the forms. But for those of you that want to take advantage of the Summit Tracking app, here it is, baby. You j it's paired up to your level charts. It's paired up to your goals. So it's a one-time entry, and it, it's like boom goes the dynamite. Now you're modernized, and you never, 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 ever again have to concern yourself with any of the adding up, the multiplying, the dividing, the app does it all for you. So we're really hoping that you take advantage of the Summit Tracking app. So that brings us to the end of our tour, our first official summit tutorial on the social digital planner. I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I enjoyed taking you on it. I just have this intuitive hunch. As a matter of fact, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm talking to you about it now, that this planner used with uh, perseverance, used with consistency, is going to take you to a level in your career, in your financial life, in your overall life that we, up until this point in time, we just didn't uh, believe it to be possible or to dream it to be possible. I can say that with faith because of all of the uh, social digital masters that have been using hybrids of this over the last couple of years. We've had the opportunity to see what it's going to do for them, and we know it'll do the same for you. So good luck to you. I'm going to stay close to you. I can't wait to watch you to make big boom boom.